Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Yorkshire Crafter. First of all, I want to apologise for the video that went up about the second cross stitch magazine that I received. The video that was up either yesterday or the day before saying Harshets cross stitch issue 2. Um, I've been playing about with some editing software um, there was some already on installed on the computer that I have so I'd been playing with that I was trying to snip out a clip where my mobile rang and yeah it uh, completely took out the first section of the video so I don't even think it showed the issue two so i'm going to re-record it now for you guys we're going to go through issue two i have already started some of it the floss that we don't need to carry on with tigger is already bagged and put away i've been using a little uh ziploc bags and uh storing them away so i don't lose them because um in this magazine series there's like 60 odd different flosses to collect so yeah i've been putting those away and keeping them safe but i have kept out the ones that we do need uh it's cross stitch zero one cross stitch 54 so we need the black and what they're calling a, a peach colour so magazine 2 is finishing off the Tigger motif in the centre so I'll go through the instructions that we get this time so it says starting at the lower part of Tigger's right paw or left as we're looking at it work up the chart row by row stitch all tiggers stripes in black step two next using one strand of black work tiggers outline in back stitch starting at his bottom left paw or right as we're looking at it once you have worked his outline add the final details of his eyes and whiskers and then step three complete your motif by working tigger's frame in three strands of peach count down 22 squares from your central point six squares to the left this will be your first stitch on the bottom row of the frame work up the chart row by row so that's what we've got to do to finish off tigger so it shows you the tigger will be in the middle um, I'm going to see if there's anything in the magazine um, as you can see there there's the Alice in Wonderland um, there's the pattern on the other side And then it shows a cross stitch project of red with white dots it says classic polka dots never go out of fashion then there's let me see without showing you the pattern and then there's a tigger um, a band a pot band that you can make Um, then there's the pattern uh, then there's the poster for this time always original since 1928 that's a uh, poster that comes and an upside down and then there's the other side 
you be my Mickey and I'll be your Minnie. Oh, that's really cute. That's the other side of that poster. Then there's a Mickey border uh, that you can stitch. Um, and then there's a Back to Basics. Work purely in ba backstitch. This font is perfect for everyday projects. And it shows you the, the letters. Uh, project Gallery. There's Peter Pan, Bambi. There's some Alice in Wonderland. There's the Cinderella that we keep seeing everywhere and then there's a Dumbo like band that you can stitch so yeah that's uh, issue two and I have actually started some of it I did some last night while I, wa I was watching I was watching a friend's live um, I've done some of the black stripes in his tail and his body and yeah so some of the stitches have gone a bit bobbly and there's some knots it's not perfect but I am a newbie I'm just starting so <coughs> excuse me my count's a little bit off as well um, I think there was um, some bits in here um i'd put not enough orange uh stitches in and i think i've missed some orange bits off as well i need to go back and fill in uh once i've finished but uh yeah i'll be going over the pattern again and make sure i fill it in and get it get it looking all right um but yeah so that blue mark there is the center of my fabric that i marked i'm hoping that that will come out i might be able to get um a pen or you know the remover like the um uh, what's it called to do the uh, the bleach pen I'm not sure you're probably all screaming at me now like don't don't do that because it will bleach your uh, thread but uh, yeah if anybody has any suggestions or any you know please please uh, put it in the comments down below but uh, yeah so I'm going to go over the sorry i'm really really annoyed with myself i can't believe the first video but yeah can't keep beating yourself up so i'm gonna go over the starter kit again and hopefully my phone won't ring so um we get a pot with some needles in and i did discover in the last video that it does say 17 on the top there so i think i think that's how many we get sent but uh yeah um we get whoopsie we get a thimble right where did that go there i've just got um a pin to do the uh, half stitches I think I noticed that somebody posted in the group about doing the half stitches and struggling um, but there is plenty of videos on YouTube um, I do recommend Stitcher Easter um, that's how that's ha that's how I figured out how to do the um, half stitches I'll put into uh, YouTube how to do half cross stitch and that was one of the suggested videos uh, Stitcherista so yeah go check her out um, 
I watch a lot of uh, diamond painting videos and things like that as well anyway but um, yeah that's how I uh, I watched Stitcherista the lovely Danielle um, but yeah that's how I watched her and so yeah right we've got some needle threaders I don't think you can see the I don't think you can see the uh, metal in that but uh, yeah that's that then there's some other needle threaders I don't know where the other one ah, it's in here Let's see so there's four needle threaders in total there's those ones that we normally get um, they're normally just the metal cheapy ones um, that's what I was using before I got this kit but they seem a bit uh, sturdier they don't seem to want to pull so yeah I've been using those but there's these ones that come in the kit as well the smaller needle and the larger so there's two of those as well <coughs> There is the thread cutters, but yeah, comes uh, with its own lid with a cap, and then there is the stitch ripper, is what I've been told this is. So yeah, you hook it in, and yeah, if you need to rip anything out. But uh, just be careful that it doesn't rip your uh, cloth that you're using as well. Because people just go, you know, gung-ho with it and it can make a mess of your fabric. But that is the starter kit. Um, <coughs> some of these things I put in extra. So, But uh, yeah, they were what I was using at the time. So yeah um also just to let you know um in this first delivery that i got i was supposed to get issue two for two pound fifty then issue three for free and then the starter kit but while i was getting set up to record the original video I got an email from Harshet saying that they didn't expect the demand for the Disney cross stitch that they've had. So the struggling sending out issues, getting things printed and yeah, they said with you being a subscriber, don't worry, you will get your issues, you'll get you know what you've paid for etc etc um but just be aware that there could be a six week delay um so yeah um but like i say in the first delivery um sorry i've got um yeah in this first delivery they actually sent me issue one again so i've got issue one again with all the threads the fabric the needle you know everything that came with issue one they've sent it me again in this first delivery because like i say like they explained on the email they just they didn't expect the demand that they've had so yeah just um a bit of a heads up that there could be a delay with deliveries and things they said it could be up to six weeks delayed but um yeah so they're trying to get everybody's deliveries out they're trying to get issues and things like that to news agents and shops and but yeah like i said they could be up to six weeks delayed 
So, um, yeah. <sighs> Dear. So, again, guys, I really do apologise for that first video. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if I made any of you jump, anybody you know i'm really really sorry about that first video um yeah like i said the editing software it said about moving these slidey bars um where you want it to snip because it's a, a long bar obviously the video and then there's you can slide this one bar where you want it to start the snip and another bar where you want it to stop the snip and that's what I did so I pressed I went to finish the video and yeah um, I think I've just kind of become what's the word um, I, don't, I can't think of the word but um, used to be my my videos being okay used to my videos being fine and not checking them before I upload them um, I had this problem a while ago when I first set up my channel you know not checking videos before I upload them and yeah I kind of come is it displacent or something not is that is that the word i'm looking for i'm not sure but uh yeah so i've taken that video down i'm now going to upload this video as there's been no disruptions no phone calls no i don't need to edit it in any way i can just put my baby there put my what is up with me today i can put my beginning clip on my intro and then i can put my end clip on and then that's fine it's done so right i shall let you guys get on with your day now thank you for being so patient and understanding and yeah um so yeah like i say if anybody's got any suggestions of how to get the ink out it was is it one of the dry board erasers that i used it was an old one that we just had lying around so i just put a put a dot on the fabric but yeah that's what it was that i used a dry eraser so if anybody's got any suggestions or anything like that to get that out of the fabric um i'll have to find another way of trying to mark it but we'll uh we'll just see as we're working through and any suggestions that do come in the comments i can always look at doing maybe at the end once i've done all the motifs on this piece of fabric so anyway like i said i'm gonna let you guys get on with your day and remember guys in a world where you can be anything be kind bye guys <laughs>